everybody, and welcome back to City of Heroes and the Chronicles of Zap Paladin. And I'm joined in game with Raquel Moore, a.k.a. Uh, Captain Coolis. Hello, everyone. Hey. So it's just the two of us this evening. Uh, it is coming up on a holiday weekend here in the U.S., and I, I you know, people just have things they're doing, so. Um, so. Uh, today we are going to continue the Terra Conspiracy with Ginger Yates. So let me go ahead and give her a call and see where we're at with that. Mm -hmm. So, alright. The residue you discovered after the Devouring Earth attack on the Paragon Technical Institute indicates that they were working on something. Finding out what it was could give us a clue to their eventual plan. I'd like you to take this residue over to Dr. Stephen Sheridan. Maybe he can tell us what the Devouring Earth were cooking up in that lab. All right. So Dr. Sheridan may well be the smartest person I know. I don't doubt he'll have some good info for us. All right. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Sheridan, he is over in Bricks next to the hospital. Uh, I think the fastest way would be the portal over here. Okay. We started in Founders Falls. All right. All right. Up. Oh. Well, I know where he's at, but I'll still go ahead and select it. There we go. would have been right next to where the portal used to be because he used to stand right next to it or the portal was next to him mm -hmm. he didn't move so right no longer though no nah. i don't know if it was a good thing that they moved the portals in bricks and I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember the one in Founders was. I think it was always at the university. I really can't remember, though. Um, okay. This sample is a medicine that weakens the immune system. Doctors use similar medication when they're doing a major organ transplant. It keeps the body from rejecting the new organ. I'd guess the Devouring Earth planned to turn this substance into a virus to weaken all of our immune systems so that we're more susceptible to their mutagen. They never stop trying to wipe us out, do they? I don't know if even the Richti hate humanity this much. Well, some of them do, but then, yeah. there's, then there's the traditionalists who don't. But we won't know about that till later. So, And then... Uh, I don't know, I guess it was this chemical residue was the clue I got. You collected this chemical residue from a machine in the lab you saved from the Devouring Earth. According to Dr. Stanley Sheridan, the Devouring Earth were manufacturing a drug that can cripple the immune system, thus lowering the body's chance of fighting off a mutagen or organ transplant. Oh, okay. So we took care of that. Let's go ahead and call up Ginger and... See what she's got going here. We need to know more, and I think I know where to look. The ecological activist group Fauna First. If they help the devouring Earth produce that chemical, they may well know the next phase of the plan. The organization has been deep undercover ever since they were accused of bombing an oil plant last year, but I'll see what I can ferret out. I trust that you will not stop until the devouring Earth are finished. I thank you for that. P please take all the enhancements you need for a price. <laughs> well, there. yeah. So, and then her next mission. I think I've come up with a lead on Fauna First, the activist group that was working with the Devouring Earth. It turns out they have a front company located over in Founders Falls, Oak Tree Stationers. I want you to get over to, to the Fauna First front company Make some arrests and see if you can figure out what the devouring earth is up to. All right. These people may be fantastic, but they're still Paragon citizens. 
Oh, fanatics. I was like, what the heck is, would be fan <laughs> fantastic? <laughs> they may be fanatics, but they're still Paragon citizens. Take care of them, Zap Paladin. I don't understand why the devouring work Earth are working with humans at all. Uh, founders, founders, uh, faster to, I think it'll be faster to do the long range teleporter. We shall I'm see. Sure. I'm not sure mine's recharged yet. No, apparently has. You might also have the, uh, monitor duty teleporter. Which will always get you at least back to the base. Yep. A, I have a cat clawing at the back of my hand. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. A little. She needs to... Well, I need to trim her claws. You're such a silly cat. Ah, and I cleared the box. Oh well. Hang on, I just went in. Uh, a sharp wail is cut off in a gasp. It seems all is not well for Fauna First activists. Ooh. Dun dun dun. All right, there's some right around the corner to the left. Alright. Let me try something first. Come here! didn't work out nearly as well as I wanted it to, so... I forgot. Nobody else is... There's not another uh, electrical blaster, so I can fire off Thunderous Blast. And you know it's you. Yeah. <laughs> Only, what did that say? Only the girl will not be harmed. Only the girl? Yeah, that's what the, uh, one of these said. The fungoid, I think it was. Okay. Foreshadowing. Nothing up above. That wasn't, no, that's it. just making certain there wasn't a blinky in there.
lesser devoured. Looks like it's just those two. See if there's anybody in here. Nope. Hmm? Someone just howled. Where? Find anything? Uh, over here, yep. Top floor, behind the doors. See if there's anybody on the other side. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's anybody over there, but. There's at least some XP inside these monsters. This potted plant looks suspicious. <laughs> I think that clears that room. I think so too. Lesser, but he's purple. Stitch. Really? Really? I thought I had checked to make sure that he was that the previous what are they, bedrocks? that they didn't become rubble. Ah. Come on, switch over. Now I should be able to do it.
Wait, which one are you going for? I was going to say I lost track of you. Where did you go? Right here. <laughs> ah, there you are. <laughs> um, I think the Lesser Devour. I got it. But so I think these are real trees over this way. Yep. Apparently they are. <laughs> Doesn't happen all that often when you're fighting Devouring Earth. <laughs> First, then I guess real trees is probably not accurate either. They're probably plastic. <laughs> yeah, they're in dirt. Let's actually check over here. Oh okay. yeah, that's nope, right. Nobody there. We should check down here. Nope. Howdy boys. No, what happened here? They took Tanya Tyler. She's been with her organization for years. She was one of the most zealous about defending the Earth. fairly uneventful aside from the events that occurred within it it's not so unusual for the devouring earth to turn against humans they've allied with but it is strange for the devouring earth to target just one person for kidnapping normally they'll take all of the people they can get I wonder who this Tanya Tyler is It seems that the, the Devouring Earth was after Tanya Tyler specifically, but what I can't figure out is why they were working with Fauna first, or if there's a connection with all of this and that drug they made. One thing is certain, though. We've got to find out where the Devouring Earth have taken Tanya Tyler. She may be the one who can answer a lot of these questions. I want you to hit the streets in Founders Falls and look for clues on any Devouring Earth monsters you find. Something big is going on here, Zap Paladin. I know it. Alright. 
So I'll bet you we'll find a clue after, say, 20 Devouring Earth? Right. Sounds about right. Yeah, this is all circle over here, if I remember. Yeah. Well, that's not helpful at all. Could be Eden, and then there's plenty. Here we go. Lone, lesser, devoured right here. Ah, oh, come on, pick on somebody your own size. Oh, uh, yeah. This one looks good. Trying to figure out what's going on up above. Oh, okay, there's just a bunch of devouring earth throwing stuff over the top of the cliff, that's all. Well, these ones are mostly my size. Okay, we got it. Oh. Map of Eden. You found this map of Brickstown. A map of Eden, but I found a map of Brickstown on one of the devouring earth creatures you defeated. A large X has been scrawled across one corner of the map, and the word Terra is scribbled above it. So what is it? Is it a map of Eden, or is it a map of Brickstown? Don't know. I don't even think they're near each other. Because Brix is there, Eden is way down here, yeah. Oh. Alright, find Tanya Tyler in Brickstown. So, uh. Da -da 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 -da. I'm looking at the city map. They're somewhat close, but you're right, not terrible. Fault line is to the north of Eden. Yep. But then Brickstown is just no slightly north and west of that. Yep. That's why Hamadon is so anno uh, pissed he can't get any sleep because of all the construction at the Overbrook Dam and Fault Line. <laughs> Oh yeah, so somebody pointed out about the cape not having a shadow, and I was certain the capes didn't appear in reflections, but they do now. Oh. 
I don't remember them showing up, but yeah, they do show up now. In reflections. Because I always thought they were vampiric. This cave stinks of mold and guano. You breathe shallowly as you edge deeper into the shadows. Well, that's why I have a helmet on. <laughs> that and the sewers. Don't these people know anything? Oh, hey, and it's a conveniently long map that, that twists back upon itself. We need one more drug. They will never find the girl. We will if you keep talking. Have it on commands your demise is that, Paladin. Something else right around the corner, wasn't there? Yeah. Aha, I thought Lake I was going to lose something there. Oh, no, Black Rose. My mistake. Slate grass is probably lower level. They're going to have me try and figure that one out. What the differences are. Okay, there's a fungi somewhere. There it is. Yep. The uh, the dropped fungal thing made the death noise. The oh. uh, uh. <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. They're like the mushrooms in Tenth Kingdom, <laughs> except they don't sing a whiter shade of pale. I don't know if they can wander through playing cards. Uh, there's that. And just what is the Miller's Tale? Lava occasionally, oddly. A hum, but... There's a black rose, and then it was what was the other one you were looking for? The thought I saw blade grass. Blade but... grass, okay. But they're 
pretty much the same thing, just different levels. So it was probably a black rose. Blade grass or minion? I still remember. I want to say the herders would fire swarms at you. Hmm. I do not remember that, but I didn't play the live version nearly as much as you did. Hey, there's a black rose. Oh wait, no. That's what we saw already. Yeah. Thank you. Lesser devoured. Mm-hmm. It just occurred to me the bedrock break down into rubble, so you got all those flint stones things going on there. Yeah. What was the boss's name? Slate or Slade? Uh, Miss Slate. Slate, okay. Teen Titans was slayed. I don't know if you watched that. Nope. It's Deathstroke, not Deadpool. <laughs> one running around over here, a guardian. Get back here. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff up above. I was gonna say, I know we missed a bunch.
am going down there to face him. <laughs> One wandering around downstairs, down below still. Okay. There it is, way over here. All right. Oh, there's still two more over here. too far back from that other room because it went off in a couple different directions. They all led to here. Alright. North, south, east, west, all roads lead to here. How convenient. And just as it was what brought the Rome to greatness, it will also bring, or just as it also brought the fall to Rome, it'll bring the fall to the devouring earth. Well, yes. that clears this one.
we already find her? I found this love letter while searching for the missing environmental activist Tanya Tyler. It reads, uh, My darling Tanya, I have thought often of you these many years. Your beauty, your determination, your everlasting devotion to our Mother Earth. All these I remember, and they give me hope. One day I shall rise from this dank and musty den to which I have been consigned. But until then, dearest Tanya, you will be my vessel, my Terra. You will spread our message, and you will cover the Earth. All my love, Hamadon. At the bottom of the letter, a map has been hurriedly scrawled in dirt, along with the message, Please help me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have a love letter from Hamadon to Tanya Taylor. We're going to have to wait until the next issue, though, to figure out what that means. All right. Yeah. So, uh, hey, right up here on top of the rock. Do do, bonk. Okay. So yeah. All right. Well, it was a little slow this week, but you know we got through some more clues about the Terra conspiracy. So if you've been putting the pieces together, Hamadon's love letter referred to Tanya as his Terra, um, and she will be his vessel. So, um, so. We shall see what all this means coming up in the future. So, everybody, I hope you had a great time. We'll see you all in the next episode or, or issue of Chronicles of Zap Paladin. And we'll also have some other folks yep. with us, hopefully. So, <laughs> all right, everybody, take care. And it might be a couple weeks because next week is the holiday weekend. And it is also, just to let you all know, it is the hell week that I've got. That is the last week before you open a show. So I have six rehearsals in a row every night of the week. So I probably won't have a lot of time to do playing of games. But anyhow. Yep. So. I'm sure right. they understand. <laughs> all right, everybody. See you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.